It's my pleasure to introduce uh, the first speaker, uh, Professor Atif Al Bahari, uh, from Saeed University, uh, and he is uh, the vice president of the IABA board. He will give us a talk about the STEP trial. Professor Atif. Ten minutes. Eight, five minutes. A STEP study is uh, a study which is, uh, is published in the New England Journal and uh, it was announced in the European Society of Cardiology 2021 this year. This study uh, comes from China. It's, it's called the strategy of blood pressure intervention in the elderly hypertensive patients. And the abbreviation is STEP by Professor Zhong Chai. We know that blood pressure targets in the older patients. Uh, treating blood pressure in older, pa in older patients is, uh, for example, uh, we can say hazardous or we should be wise. How low to go? For the current guidance, the American guidelines stated that blood pressure target in older patients should be less than 130 millimeter mercury systolic and 80 millimeter mercury diastolic. The blood pressure target in older patients in the European Society of Cardiology guidelines should be below 140 systolic and below 90 millimeter mercury diastolic, aiming uh, down to 130 systolic and 80 diastolic if tolerated. The rationale of this study is to go below these numbers. It's a prospective multi-center randomized control trial uh, uh, 9,634 patients screened from 42 clinical centers in China, and the follow-up was about 48 months. The intensive arm treatment is to go with 110 millimeter mercury systolic and below 130 millimeter mercury. And the standard treatment is 130 millimeter mercury systolic and below 150 millimeter mercury. The results, as we see from the primary composite endpoint, was reduction of MACE by 26%. This is the, uh, is the success of this uh, it, it, uh, trial. And stroke is decreased by 33%. Acute cross syndrome is decreased by 33%. Heart failure is decreased by 73%. The measure adverse cardiac events decreased by 28%. And mortality from cardiovascular events decreased by 28%. The others, like coronary revascularization, AF, all caused mortality were not different between groups. And the results of the safety outcomes, only differences in the safety outcomes between the two groups were not significant, except with high potential in the, uh, in the intensive arm. And significant renal injuries with intensive blood pressure lowering were not observed. So the conclusion of this study of the 9,624 patients screened for eligibility 8,511 8, were enrolled in this trial. The STEP study found that the lower it, it, it target 110 millimeter mercury systolic and below 130 millimeter mercury reduced the primary uh, composite endpoint by 26% and, and no significantly increased serious adverse events and renal outcomes. So, it guides us to move the goal, uh, both for the blood pressure uh, guidelines uh, for the next year, and this is a time for act. And but uh, recently in the uh, in the ECC, there is new guidelines in the 2021 European Society of Cardiology guidelines on cardiovascular disease prevention in clinical practice. Still, uh, stated that in treated patients aged more than 70 years, it is recommended that systolic blood pressure should generally be targeted to less than 140 uh, systolic and, and, and down to 130 millimeter mercury if tolerated, and this is class 1A. And thank you very much. <laughs>